Hi, Erica. Hi, Rebecca. Oh my goodness, it's so nice to see you. It's so nice to see you. And look at you on the sunny beach. On a sunny beach. I get so much pleasure from our chats. I feel the same way. It's been way too long since we came together like this. It has been a very long time. I think, you know what, like like everybody else, you know, life just gets in the way. Things happen. Totally. But you reminded me of something so important. We have so many new members in this group. We right. want to say hello. Happy New Year. Oh my God, it's still only, you know. Hello, the- everyone. Hello. We have this amazing community and we have amazing support to provide. And we are, our practice is accepting insurance and we can offer help to so many people at absolutely no cost to them if you check your benefits. So it would be such a good idea to go to the website and, or reach out to Erica directly or me, Rebecca, and we can help you find support because I know that's why we're all here because we're all struggling with some of the same issues. Everyone struggles with the same issues. Diet culture, being around people who are constantly talking about how much weight they've lost using the new injectable. Right. I just experienced that when I was away last week. It, it's, you know, and even if you've worked all this stuff through, even if you know that diets don't work, even if you know that intuitive eating is sort of the way to go and that there's nothing wrong with being in whatever body, you know, you've been given and treat it the best way you can you're still going to be activated whenever some of these diet programs, diet comments come up. Totally. You know what I'm always reminded of is how much easier it is if you live in a smaller body in this world and how hard it is to navigate the world in a larger body and how hard it is to um, like, like the concept of these weight loss drugs, like as if everybody wants them, everybody who's in a larger body would want them. But the allure is there because they're like, oh, don't you want to be thin? Don't you want to have this? And we know that there's major downsides to them. They're appropriate for some people, but not everybody. It's not a one size fits all answer. You know, I want to make one comment because I think people are always thinking that it's black and white and life Mm -hmm. is not black and white. Life is gray. Mm -hmm. There are some people I want to say for whom um, these new injectable medications are certainly appropriate for people Mm -hmm. with diabetes, um, people who may have other comorbid conditions. But I wanted to say if someone has had an eating disorder or has an active eating disorder, it's really important that you be screened properly. I think that's my issue right now with these medications that People may have binge eating disorder. They may have any other type of, of, of eating issue. And then honestly, taking the medication is not going to really solve the underlying That's problem. Right. And, and here's the biggest thing that I have, which is that these medications aren't always covered by insurance. Right. And there's a shortage right now of supplies for people who need it. People with diabetes, it's an appropriate medication. Mm-hmm. Your endocrinologist is monitoring you and, and, and you know prescribing it in the appropriate dosage. So just be aware of that. that Right. I think the media would have you believe like, here's an easy answer. And it turns out it's not like that. It's so complicated. There's so many nuances to this medication. And of course, you know, we're not giving you medical advice. You always consult your doctor for that. That's the most important thing. But, um, you know, it's an interesting conversation. The reason I brought it up is because I, honestly, I was activated <laughs> last week. I was away. My mother turned 93. We had wow. a surprise party for her. And there was a person there who um, all of a sudden was in a smaller body. <laughs> like, just like we're kind of seeing the celebrities. Yeah. And I didn't even say anything, but she said, you, yeah, yeah, I've been using it. I've been using, and I'm not going to say the name of the drug, but um, I had a, I had a moment of, of like right. a jealousy, maybe a little tiny yeah. jealousy. And then like, oh, what am I kidding myself? Right. So I guess my point is no matter how much work you've done, it's I know. activated. Right. You know what I find so helpful when I think about that, when I when I get activated, because of course it happens to everybody, um, is sort of stepping back for a moment and realizing like that is, have, with compassion, of course I have compassion for this person that she's going through this. Um, and I'm thinking about, you know, how the, how, like sort of from an um, academic perspective, like how much reward we get for shrinking ourselves, how much, how much validation we get and how hard it is to, to not do that. And, and I think about how, like, I, like as a almost like like separate from me. Like this is not in my body, but this is like how that that the world rewards losing weight, 
right? And then when you gain the weight back, which inevitably happens, right? Because 95% of diets fail. And if you go off Ozempic, the weight comes back, right? They say, yeah, you know, the Govi or any of the, right, any of those, but when, but you know, how hard it is and how, when, once that weight comes back on, we feel so bad about ourselves, right? Because, because we got such a positive reinforcement when we were on the downside. And then when it comes back, you feel so negative. And I feel like that's, that's such a dangerous train to ride. Like that, I always call that like the diet train, you know, and I feel like part of the work that I've done and you've done is to try to get off the diet train, right. To sort of abandon that. And we can help other other people to get off the diet train. You, I thank you, Rebecca, for always bringing it back to that. I really want to make a point that um, both Rebecca and I are available to see clients. We we do take insurance. We take um, Aetna. We take Cigna. We take United Healthcare, Oxford, um, Medicare. Just some cases, and if someone has diabetes or kidney disease, but sometimes it's really helpful to have just a little extra support. And mm -hmm. we have in a lot of different states, like there are some requirements in terms of being licensed in a state. So questions, questions, just come to the contact page on my website and just send me an email. I have a, a contact page um, with questions. So and we want to help you. There is help out there. Yes, there is.